In part one of this series, I talked briefly about the role and responsibilities of a Milsim West cadre. The cadre's biggest and possibly most important responsibility is the safety and well-being of his or her players. Included in these responsibilities is the enforcement of the TACSOP, or Tactical Standing Operating Procedure. TACSOP is the Milsim version of saying rule set. A considerable amount of airsoft arguments and disputes usually originate from players simply not reading the rules. While it is the responsibility of the cadre to enforce the rules on both sides, it is the responsibility of the individual player to read and understand the tax op or rule set before attending the game. 1-1, one, one, shift toward us, shift toward us. Huh? I know, right? <laughs> It's the final day of Milson West Rendezvous Stavropol. My platoon, along with the rest of the NATO team, are moving toward the Russian patrol base for a company-sized assault. Contact! 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 Twelve o'clock! Hit! These pile of dead trees, we need to advance. Tango down. Zero six, uh, Papa one. Let's go, push it up, push it up. Hey, first platoon. Shift right, shift right. There's a road to our right. Let's move down that road. React, react to the black fire. Get cover, get cover. React to the black fire. Zero six one seven. We are in contact on the southeastern flank. Roger, Roger. Once you get to a set of fortifications, halt your advance. Get to the front bunkers and then halt. We're going to wait for the other units to start engaging. To the right, to the right, to the right. Got a squirter to the right. Yeah, yeah. Go to work, go to work. Hey John. Hey, there's a we got one squirter at this way. Hey, shift right a little bit. Make sure no one comes up on our right flank. Yep, they got a machine gun to hold it down. Guns down. Ah! Where is it? Play in. Are you buddy eight or water? Buddy eight. Tango down. One seven six. Go for one seven. So we press the uh, uh, TV. We should be tying in at the time. Push as far to the south as possible. Get online and start pushing. Roger. We're gonna start pushing more south. First platoon, first platoon, shift south, shift south. That's to our right, to our right. Reload, reload. So there's no bank. One hit. Uh, Eric, I'm hit. Out? No, not out, out. You have to come put a turkey kit on me. I'm out. All four are dead. Bunker clear. No. Apparently there's no bang rules. There's not. That's trash. Clear that's the one. If this is clear. I got the one to the left. I'm 
I'm not fucking arguing with you. I'm just saying it's fucking trash. Okay. I can't run up and go bang on somebody. I have to pull the trigger. It's not trash. Just yeah. read the rules, bro. Yeah. Instead of being mad about it, just read the rules. While it's unclear as to what the exact situation with this player was, on page 25 of the Milsim West Tax Op, it says not to use surrender. This is basically the same as bang bang. Surrender or bang bang rules do have a place in airsoft, especially with younger players. But at this level of airsoft, it's generally unwanted by the player base. On the rare occurrence it is used at a Milsim game, the player being asked to surrender has been completely surprised and has no chance of returning fire or reacting without being shot. Let's go, first platoon advance, first platoon. Keep going. Let's go, let's go. Go, first, let's go. Admin, admin. Hey, you with the PKM. Hey, hey, stop. Hey, you, hey, you right there with the PKM. Stop blind firing. There's no rule against it, bro. Yes, there is. No, there isn't, bro. I read the tax on. Yeah, he's right. As you can tell, I am incredibly angry with this player but continuing to yell and argue with him will get us nowhere. The best course of action in my head at the time was to find either of the game producers to talk to this player about the rules. This is a dumb question. Are you allowed to blind fire here at Milsim West? No, you're not. Because they're like, no, it's, in the, it's not in the rules. We can do it. There's no minimum engagement in this because you can't blind fire. Where's the guy on the PKM? Oh, that is not his yeah, guy. Yeah, that's hey, he, well, here's the thing, guys. I just want to reiterate, you cannot blind fire. That is a safety thing. Oh, yeah, that's no, no. fair. We were telling him not to, but he's known for not listening. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's all you gotta say. Uh, dude with some Howard lights in this <laughs> hole. I mean, this all right, so that guy's not with you guys, right? Uh, no. Could you see them lifting over, or did you like? No. Was he blind firing, gentlemen? Yeah, I was lying right next to him. What's he doing? Yeah. Like it's 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 dangerous. No. It's no. dangerous. <laughs> we're trying to have fun, not harm people. I think he was having fun. I mean, that's great, but like, you know, I don't want to take a round of the face point blank by someone just going, like, what if I did that to one of you? You'd be mad. Yeah. Oh. Well, he's not in response. <laughs> All right, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys alone. Sorry. This is no, that is that is such a yeah. giant pet peeve of mine. Oh, there he is, right there. Come here. Come yeah, here. Man. Yeah. You can't blind fire. Yeah, blind fire. You can't blind fire. You didn't know that. Dude, everyone here said yeah, that, that, that they were set telling you not to blind fire. Either way, I told, hey. Yeah, also yeah. there's a minimum, you know there's a minimum engagement distance on a PKM, right? Uh, no, I forgot, sir. I forgot. Okay. So, so, you so the, right? Okay. So you know he f***ed up, right? Yeah, I know he f***ed up. Sorry. All right. The minimum engagement distance is? On a PKM, what's the minimum engagement distance? Had to be 75 feet? No. 50 feet. Or 50 feet. Either way. You see what I'm saying? Also, blind fire is not allowed. Specifically disallowed in the tax on. You have to aim down the sights. So right. don't let it happen again, okay? All right. All right. Is this Yeah. So after the last event, you're also supposed to read the tax on because you got a weapon that wasn't... It was yeah, no, I changed it out. I bought an LCT. I know, but you're supposed to read the rules. And it really says no blind fire. I'll just try and coordinate that. Oh, camera. I forgot it. Okay. Okay. Just fix the ride. Alright, I mean, carry on. Don't blend that anyway. Coincidentally, also on page 25 of the tax op, in bold lettering, it says blind fire is not authorized and strictly prohibited. During the conversation with both game producers, we find that this is this player's second offense for not reading the rules. Hey, is the cadre over here? Yes, what do you want? My, I'm sorry about that. All right, just please read the tax op and please don't argue next time. I just forgot about that one part. Uh, 
Hey man, I, let me level with you. No blind fire is like number two rule in all of airsoft, okay? It is a safety thing that's briefed at every single field and every single event, man. It is literally just a basic rule. So just don't do it again, please, okay? Okay. All right, I accept your apology. Just please next time, don't argue. Just say, hey, okay, sorry. Despite how mad I was earlier, I appreciated this player's effort to make amends and his admittance to being wrong about the rules. It's just unfortunate that the argument could have been avoided had he read the rules like he should have after his first offense. As for the rest of the game, we finally captured the Russian HQ. Russia and the militia then counterattacked. Their combined forces retook the Russian base and everyone got a cool Instagram photo. That's gonna wrap up this video. And as always, this is Jet Desert Fox and I'll see you on the field. Please just read the rules before stepping on said field, please. Anybody get the guy on the left side?